This is the Breaking Skein Glitterfly. It's a crystal meth variant. It was created by Joe Montello, and I first read about it in the Steelhead Guide by John Nagy. I love this hook for steelhead flies because it's strong, it's reliable, it's super sharp, it does a great job of holding fish. And the original pattern calls for peach colored thread, which I don't have, so I'm using this fire orange thread. I like this thread a lot in steelhead flies. My thread base goes right to the, the uh, barb of the hook. So to form a crystal flash tail, I'm taking three strands and I'm attaching them to the top of the fly. Here's a, a neat little simple pro tip. If you want to make sure that your tail is the length of the hook shank, you just fold it back over the top of the fly and clip it right behind the eye. And there you have just the right length for the tail. So Estes is the skein part of the fly. Skein, if you don't know, is the membrane that holds an egg mass together. So we'll tie that in at the butt of the fly. It's called ice braid. It's called sparkle braid. It's called dyed pearl diamond braid. Whatever you're using, you know what I'm talking about. It's this very glisteny kind of ropey material here. And I've cut a length about seven inches long. And I formed it into a loop and gave my bobbin a counterclockwise twist there to make it easier to attach it. And what you're going to do now is form a series, four of them, of loops on top of the shank of the hook. So it's important that you tie it down right on top of the hook shank. And the first set of loops is smaller, and then the next two are larger. I should have moved that Estes out of the way. There we go. You won't be bothering me anymore. But you can see I'm making two larger loops in the middle, and I'm adjusting that tie-in to make sure that the loops are resting right on top of the hook shank. One more set of loops, which is a smaller one, to the front there. And again, make sure it's right where you want it, and then bind down hard. We'll trim that off. And now we're going to wrap the Estes and what we're going to do is we're going to wind it in between each set of loops. So it gives it, gives it that kind of uh, eggy mass goodness. All we need to do now is make a head, whip finish, and then we're ready to go out and catch some steelhead. So I'll, I'll twist the fly here. You can get a bird's eye view of it. You can see how all those loops are resting right on top of the fly. That's how it should look from above. So go catch some chrome with the breaking skein glitter fly. Thanks for watching.